Good morning everybody, so I'm Logan and today you're going to be spending the day with me on Broyan's farm. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with today is summer squash. Now this is actually our first patch we planted in the summer. It's amazing that it's still going and we're also really lucky to be having it right now just because of the weather and that we haven't had a frost yet. So anything we get now is kind of just like a bonus and we're really thankful that we're getting as much as what we're getting. Yesterday we got two inches of rain, so it is kind of muddy. You can see like on the bottom there, but I'm just gonna try and keep my hands clean so I don't get the whole summer squash muddy, just the bottom stays muddy and we'll leave it go with that. There is quite a few here, even though with the colder nights, it's not, they're not ripening as fast, but Usually in the summer, we'll pick about every two days. Now we're probably picking about once a week, but like I said, we're just thankful to be picking what we're picking. So that's all the summer squash I got. Now I'm gonna move into yellow zucchini. I'll just mix these in the same crate. I get some of that mud off. I want to be careful in cutting these, they don't cut the leaves off or cut another little zucchini starting to grow. So now moving on to green, I only got one full bushel of yellow zucchini and the summer squash mixed, which ain't bad. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's beautiful. You can see here now with this colder weather, some of these plants just can't handle it and they're starting to die off, but there still is a lot of good out here and they're producing some nice zucchini. Now I'm not sure if they're gonna make it, but this right here is what I'm talking about. When I say I'm cutting, I don't wanna hurt those little zucchini. There's one, two, three, at least three little zucchini right there. I wanna make sure I don't cut. Alright, so I just got done with the old patch of zucchini. I'm not going to pick the new patch today just because I'm running out of time. We're going to pick that tomorrow, but this is what I got. I got one really nice bushel of green zucchini here. 
another bushel of yellow zucchini and the summer squash mixed. And then I got a couple more green zucchini with some Lebanese squash on top. So now I'm done with zucchini, I'm down here at our potato storage. The guys picked up potatoes yesterday and we gotta keep them stored in a dry, cool place. And that's the whole purpose of this right here. It's a great place to store potatoes because it's actually underneath the ground, as you can see right here. And there's no windows, so it stays really dark. And there's obviously no rain in there, so it's a dry, cool place. And the potatoes can last in there all winter long. Now these potatoes here in particular will not, we'll be using these up. But in a couple of weeks when we start binning like 10, 15 bins of potatoes, that's what will get stored for the winter. All right, so as you can see there behind me, the potatoes are unloaded. Now I'm gonna move on to turnips and tomatoes. Turnips are one of my favorite things to pick on the farm. I love their colors with that dark purple mixed with the white. I love when you pick them, how the leaves pop. And it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt. I gotta look all over, try and find the big ones, search around a little bit, find another one. It's my favorite. All right, so turnips are done. I got almost two baskets. What I got is really nice, but they're just not growing as good as I would like them to. So I'm not gonna take anything small. I'm just gonna let them grow a little more and then pick them another day. All right, so as I figured, that rain we got yesterday, that two inches, pretty much wiped us out of our tomatoes in the field. I'm gonna try and scrounge around and get a basket or two, but I don't have high hopes. Um, that almost every single one, even when it looks good, it's not. Like if you see this one right here, it looks good. You turn it over, it's bad. So, I mean, that's just that's just what happens. That's just time of year now. Um, I'm not really upset because we had a great year and I'm just thankful for what we got. From the camera's point of view, these tomatoes look beautiful, but I can promise you underneath they're not good.
I walked around for a little while in hopes to find a section of good tomatoes, but there really just wasn't any. All right, so I got one basket of tomatoes. I mean, I was probably down here for a half hour. That's not too bad, but I got other things to move on to. Some things that are a little more important. We gotta just face the facts that tomatoes are done. Looking back earlier on in the tomato season, when I would come down here by myself and get 10 baskets in an hour, I mean, that's incredible. So I'm just thankful for the season we had. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna move on to for today is Brussels sprouts. I think I'm gonna clean them up today for good for the season. And the thing about Brussels sprouts is that when they're ready, you need to pick them because if you don't, what happens is the bottoms start to get too mature and then you start to lose a lot of them. Like almost all these down here are bad, so I just cut it up a lot higher than what it should have been cut. But that way, I don't have to worry about cleaning them off now. Every single Brussels sprout from the bottom up is perfectly good. Beautiful. When you're pulling these leaves off, you need to be careful. If you actually pull them down, what'll happen is you'll actually take that whole Brussels sprout and you'll rip it right off. So the best way to do it is pull them from the side, kind of like a quick snap and it should pull right off. See that one right there is bad. So let's take and pop that off. Now we're good to go. All right, so I just got back to the shed here. I'm in the cooler, got the Brussels sprouts done. They're not very big compared to what we usually get, but the actual Brussels sprouts on the stem are nice. So that's all I'm really worried about. So I think that's where I'm gonna call it for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work.